Hello and welcome to another XINH review, Bootleg Lego Sets. Today we're taking a look at three sets based on the DC Universe. Our front row here is set number X0219 and contains the figures 957 all the way to 964. We have a comic book version of Killer Frost, the uh, civilian dress of Wonder Woman from the movie. Aquaman, Mirror, Lex Luthor, Superman, based on that uh, Lego Polybag set that was released. Regular Superman, Omac, and the reverse Flash. On the back left here we have another Aquaman. We have Ocean Master, Mirror, and another version of her in different design. Uh, notice she actually has the Wonder Woman headpiece, just painted differently. We have Rain from uh, the Supergirl TV series, another version of Superman. Bizarro Wonder Woman and Bizarro Green Lantern and Miss America. I, I don't know who she is. I have not seen her in, in the comics. On the back left there we have set number X0189 containing figures 839 to 846. On the back right hand side here we have X0188 containing figures 831 all the way to 838. Starting on the left we have the TV version of The Flash. I can't really tell which season, uh, the, the bit too similar for me. Uh, Cisco or Vibe, and then we have Heatwave, TV version of Deadshot, the Dark Archer, Overgirl, and then we have from Gotham, uh, the Penguin and Jerome, which they've labeled as the Joker. These figures come with a basic minifigure stand underneath them, of course. Uh, Get a Force here has one of these ice punchy things, which uh, are sort of 50-50 from, you know, Xanish if they shoot well or not. What a woman here comes with a regular hairpiece, and right now she's wearing the hat. I think it's more suited in this look. Uh, trident here, soft rubbery plastic. Uh, all three of these tridents are soft rubbery plastic. More shooty things. A pretty decent cape for these two shooty things and red laser pieces, which are hard plastic. Uh, shooty things, and we have uh, a ring piece that's actually printed for uh, Bizarro Green Lantern there. But it's green though. Shouldn't it be a different color? I don't know. Uh, soft piece like uh, lasso for one bizarre wonder woman five has uh, these little shooty things that are actually printed so that's pretty cool and then we just have a regular gun for heat wave doesn't even look like the heat wave gun sniper rifle for dead shot bow and arrow for the dark archer uh, we have a printed umbrella for the penguin and a tiny revolver like pistol for drone there just gonna check her cape yes it is double layered with black on one side and red on the other and looks really really good Starting with the first set here, the printing is, of course, well, pretty excellent, just as we would expect from XINH. These few figures here are very close copies to the official thing. They just look really good, especially some of the smaller suit details there on Superman. Little suit patterns that they print all the way, all the way down to the bottom. And of course, they add extra printing on the bottom of the boots there, as well as adding side printing. This. Even though this is just like a regular Man of Steel suit, the printing all the way around is excellent. As well as, and they've also used dual molding for all the feet, so that's really good. And I'm not sure why, but <laughs> I just noticed that they printed a very detailed zipper on his back. It's uh, cool, I, I guess. I kind of wish that wasn't there. That's uh, fair enough. <laughs> over on these figures on the other figures are also pretty excellent these scales there very very nice indeed and going back to the other side we've had had re the reverse flash done before but this T version here the colors are just mm, really good back printing is also pretty excellent and you know all the little scales that they print on these suits are very good as well and just really I guess the highlight is the Superman suit here just can't stress how well that the printing just goes all the way around the figure uh, reverse flash here also has some really nice arm printing there. That detail is pretty excellent. And Wonder Woman here is the only other figure that has some bit of side printing there. I don't think it's necessary, but it's, it's nice that it's there. I think that's really silly if this Wonder Woman figure here is that she's got two faces printed on this single head, which uh, the hat does not cover, only the hair piece does. So that's a bit... Mm. Anyway, moving on to the next set. Printing once again is pretty awesome now she is missing an arm fortunately it's just a regular black arm but there's some printing on this side so that's really annoying starting left there aquaman i'm really not a fan of this color scheme maybe if it changed the hair color would be better it just looks weird because he's got like a darker color beard but the body and suit itself is, is 
printed very nicely. You've got some nice golden scales on the side arms there, as well as the, some scales on the front of the legs. Pretty cool, and he does have a secondary head print. So, uh, yeah, just a decent figure. I'm just really not a fan of that really bright yellow hair. Ocean Master here also looks really good. The helmet comes off very easily. The face is printed quite nicely underneath. I like the colors of the cape. It does have a secondary face. That's cool. And of course, some back printing. Another version of Mero here, closer to the comics, I guess. And like I said, she's using the uh, standard Wonder Woman hair piece, just molded and painted differently. And she also has a secondary face. And these scales are also put on the side of her arms and the back. So overall, a uh, very simple design. They just sort of spiced it up with those underwater scale designs. Rain here, again, annoying. She's missing an arm. And a uh, quick look at her arm. Some nice silver prints there. It's a shame, uh, damn it. And uh, the front there, this logo is kind of blurred, but the overall suit and silver printing is okay. The mask does look a little bit on the tacky side, and unfortunately she doesn't have an unmasked look. At least just an angry look, but still masked. She does have some basic back printing there. Next up we have the TV version of the Superman suit. I wasn't paying attention, didn't notice. But uh, yeah, definitely those like uh, cape straps, that really makes the TV version. Now the face itself doesn't remind me of the TV version, and the hair, not so much. Uh, could have done the more classic Superman hair, that would make a bit more sense. But he's printed quite nicely all the way down to the boots. He doesn't have any back face printing, but his back torso print is pretty good, and he also is dual molded feet, so that's pretty awesome. Next with Bizarro Wonder Woman, that's pretty cool. Now we do have like a Bizarro, as well as a Bizarro Batman. Now the Bizarro is quite rare, but there's like a Mighty Michaels version that's less rare, but the actual Bizarro figure is like a Comic Con exclusive. That's annoying, but we do have like a Bizarro Batman figure that came from the DVDs, and now we have like some more Bizarro characters to go along with the official stuff, so that's that's pretty awesome. More purple vibe, pretty cool. And of course, having just regular Guy Gardner figures also pretty cool from some one of the other sets. The side corners are printed and unfortunately does not have a secondary face. Guy Gardner also doesn't have a secondary face, but the back is detailed. Now, really not sure who this character is, but she, she's very 60s and golden age. Doesn't have any back face print. The design is very simple and uh, no back leg print. So this is sort of just like, oh, what should we stick in there? I don't know, just stick around any, any other character. Uh, she seems like the laziest produced one. Doesn't quite fit, but um, if you know this character, then I guess you'd be pleased because the front and the back is printed quite nicely. You just. Seems like they left out a bit on this one. We have a set here with only characters based on TV shows. Just a quick look at the umbrella print. See, looks pretty decent. And a quick look at Cisco's sort of vibe power prints. Also pretty decent as well. So on the left here, the flash shield is definitely very detailed. Got all those lining straps. I definitely recognize this. I think this is from the more recent seasons. But they have used these standard sort of Lego helmet so oh, it's not quite right mm. but uh, and the face underneath there doesn't look quite right it looks kind of evil actually mm. oh and here's a hurt version oh this face this is that face one of them i'm not gonna spoil anything but uh, yeah kind of i get what they're going for if you've seen the tv show you know what i mean but mm. the back torso print is a bit on um, too much on the simple side though so i'm not a fan of that but at least there's some side printing that's quite decent so just on the front uh maybe trying to get one of the less exaggerated masks and it would look pretty decent. The figure itself is, is, is fine. <laughs> uh, Cisco is pretty good, got this old jacket thing and uh, they printed his shoes but not the side, some side printing there. He does have a secondary face print without the goggles and um, yeah it looks alright but they really should have molded his head in a darker colour. Heatwave here, a shame that he's always going to have these goggles on, doesn't have like a more regular face but the uh, torso and uh, very basic print on the back all look pretty good. Overgirl here, uh, I'm pretty sure that another bootleg brand did this figure before, but this one is produced quite nicely. And on the back, of course, we have her mask face, and this cape is just really, really nice. Very, very good material, not too soft, not too hard, and of course it's double layered to get this colored effect, and I appreciate that a lot, and the overall suit printing is pretty nice too. Dark Archer here, the face is a bit goofy, nothing, really nothing special about that, but the suit design is quite nice. And he does have um, some basic side printing and basic back printing. Uh, next remaining characters, the remaining three characters do not have any back face print. Uh, he does have some side print though and the overall look of him is pretty good. And he's actually got different side prints on each side to make it sort of, you know, make sense. So pretty cool. Nice, nice attention to detail there. 
Jerome here has got this whole stitching thing and it's printed quite well and really don't like that sort of stitch face thing. It's just like, <laughs> I don't think anyone would like that. And he also has dual molded legs, so yay for him. And finally the penguin, instantly recognizable. I only watched up to the first season, season break, and then I gave up. It's just like, I, uh, uh, it's like, uh, like oh, what's this? It's not supposed to be Batman, but it's so making it weird like Batman and uh, whatever. <laughs> and the back is just very, very simple designs. Once again, some pretty nice sets from XINH. I especially love the TV one because you get eight TV base figures in one go that's pretty awesome especially for fans of the specific you know CW or Gotham or you know hopefully later you've got some other DC Universe TV special sets those those would be really cool because um, you know to a lot of people they maybe they don't really read the comics anymore and specific versions like the TV versions are, are the ones that they grew, grew up on or the ones that they're focusing on and it's just nice to get these variants out in, in little groups and not just one here one there that, that's pretty awesome the other figures uh, the first set has got some great copies of official Lego stuff so if you can't get those or can't find them or you don't want to buy a big box set just for one minifigure it's great here as well and the special and unique sort of bizarro figures are very nice here too uh, so aside from that one missing arm these are pretty good selection of minifigures. I don't have much to complain about. The overall clutch is pretty decent. One of the Superman here is a bit loose on the feet, you know, sticking onto the bricks, but all the other ones seem to be doing quite well. Almost all of these have very good printing quality, some better than official Lego. Even though not all of them have secondary face prints, the faces that we do get are also pretty excellent as well. So far, if you're a DC fan, then all these are pretty good figures, so definitely check them out. They've been out for a while now, but you sh should still be able to quite easily find them on, uh, you know, online sites and all that. So subscribe to Justin Conn below, and take care and have a nice day. I will see you guys soon. Bye bye now.